Gaming. Neves Knives. I'm Jared and here we have my new giant mouse and I gotta say right off the bat I am extremely happy with this knife. It is the Jutland. Now it's an Elmac steel and I'm extremely happy with how this thing feels, the fit, the finish, the everything. You know, I've had um, good and bad experiences with um, Giant Mouse. Now, I know they've worked with the other OEMs and everything else, but this one is top notch. Now, I'm not the biggest clip point fan. Well, I'm not the biggest uh, clip point fan that trails. I rather a straight clip point. However, I like the knife so much that um, I, I'm just fine with it. And you know, and usually the reason why I'm not the biggest clip point fan is because I can't get the best utility cuts. However, this one will be just fine. I can get to it just fine. So, you know, I wouldn't obviously choose it if that's the job I was doing for the day, but to get by for regular EDC tasks, it's gonna be amazing. So LMAX Steel, we'll talk more about that here in a second. Green. This one's the green micarta. They do have other micarta. So here's my uh, Giant Mouse Ace Grand. So you can kind of see the difference between the brown and the green. I really like Giant Mouse's, um, their, their micarta. Really good quality micarta. And yeah, it feels really good. Has such a good texture to it. This one is brand new. I wanted to get it on camera before I started patinaing and aging it. You can see I, ha I have been holding it. I've been carrying it uh, all day. I've only had it since today, though. So, But the action, whew, man, they, they did a perfect detent. Perfect detent on this. So you have this flipper tab that kind of crowns up. And I know that looks like it's going to be sharp. And, you know, it... It is, but it's not, because I'm not going to grab it like that. I'm going to actually put my finger all the way on it, and in that case, the jimping takes over, and it grabs you back. So it's actually not uncomfortable at all. And it has the perfect amount of tension before it breaks. And when the detent breaks, it cleanly snaps open with authority. It even has a pretty good sound to it. Very smooth on the drop. The reverse flicking hole perfect location and i can do it with my skin or with my nail and then it's just as comfortable for the thumb flick which is awesome because you know sometimes it's really good for the reverse flick but not good for the thumb flick this is equally as good thumb or uh reverse flick and like i said it is very smooth after oiling it got even smoother very very smooth now the access to the lock bar. So one of my complaints about Giant Mouse knives and on many of their models, this one, they did really good. So not only did they put the sharp traction, they also cut it back a little bit. Now, obviously you can see I modified, well, if you don't know, but I modified this one because it was so tight, it made it to where they had traction on the lock bar, but you just couldn't get to it. So I cut it back and you see, I like a lot of access. I want to be able to get mine from the side. Now this one, it's, you know, I would always want a little bit more, but the one beautiful thing is, is I can easily modify this if I really wanted to, which it's not bothering me at all. So I'm not planning on doing it, but if I wanted to, I could easily knock this back a little bit more, but they left me just enough. And, you know, because it has those teeth, you know, it grips you really good. Easy to get past the detent, very early detent, nice, easy passage. Um, the lockup, Oh, solid lockup. Locks in place with authority. I love that. Rock solid lockup. The Ergos, it's it's not big and bulky. So it's not like, you know, the, the Ace Grand. It's not like this. It is definitely slimmer, more compact, but it's nice and comfortable. Um, you do have the, the flipper tab that angles a little bit so you can get up and, you know, nice and tight to the edge. The pinch grips are going to be good. You know, if you were going to, um, you know, do some, you know, if you had to cut down some game or, you know, whatever, do some skinning and stuff, you easily could with this. And it's got a great, great blade shape for it. Reversible deep carry clip and lefties. This is perfect for you. So this is a great lefty knife. Very, very good. Um, 
you know, and the, the clip works great and out of the pocket. I've been carrying it all day. Titanium backspacer. Just I should have mentioned that earlier. And now the jimping on the spine, not the best placement for it. You know, I guess when I'm back here, it's okay. But if I choke up at all, I'm past it. But eh, not that big of a deal. Geometry. Let me measure the thickness behind the edge. So about 17, 17 to 18 thousands behind the edge thickness. So great thinness, nice and thin behind the edge. Now it's, it, it's a little bit of a thicker grind. So it's somewhat of a robust spine in a way. So it's going to be a nice durable strength, but it does taper down relatively well. It's not super thin. It's not super thick right there in the happy medium range, which is going to make it a good cutter or at least a decent cutter and you could always put your own edge geometry on that depending on what type of angle you want on it and it should do just fine the tip should not be too dainty at all you really shouldn't have to worry about it if you do drop it on some concrete or something yeah it might chip but it's it's pretty durable you know these swedges come out really nice good looking blade i will say that man this is a good looking knife and they executed it great um now a couple complaints, I guess let's go over that. Or you know what, let's talk about the steel first and then we'll talk about, uh, you know, I'll go over a couple complaints. So the steel, LMAX. Now, as far as giant mouse goes, right? They haven't had, and this goes, this goes for not just giant mouse, but most Italian companies are not doing, um, not doing M390 justice, right? They're running it soft. Um, they've been known to run really soft heat treats, and I do would I would like to see them step that up. Like, you're making high quality knives, and the people that buy these knives want good heat treats with higher HRC. We don't want soft steels. There's no point, right? We're, these aren't axes. They're not machetes. These are pocket knives that we want good edge retention with and when they run them as soft as they have which lots of tests have shown this so this isn't just me saying this like you you can look at the research that a lot of the community has done and they it's pretty soft and, and sometimes it's it's um it's downright just it's it's almost insulting because <laughs> you're paying so much for a knife it's like man i, I can get better edge retention out of out of you know uh, mid-grade steels this is supposed to be a super steel so yes i would like to see them up their hrc on the m390 and some of their other steels now they're lmax to be exact specifically their lmax i did not i have not had an issue with my lmax on my East Grand. Now, maybe it is ran a little bit softer and I just haven't really noticed it because I haven't sat there and compared it to a bunch of other LMAX that's done extremely, extremely well. And I 100% admit that that could be the case. I just, I haven't really noticed it too much, but I also haven't done a controlled test, you know, so I have tested it and, you know, it seems decent. It seems okay to me. I'm, I'm not going to say it's outstanding in any way and it just makes me super excited, but I like Almax steel. You know, I like how this corrosion resistance, I like the types of edges it takes, and I like that it holds a really good edge for a good amount of time. However, though, my, my argument still stands. I want to see them focus on heat treats a little bit more and up in their HRC and making it better for the community for the people that buy their knives i guarantee if they did that they you, we would see their sales probably double i can tell you there's a massive amount of people that refuse to buy italian made knives that ha have super steels on them for that reason but anyways i'm not going to beat um this to death so my complaints my complaints the, I have really one, and it's the sharpening tool and plunge grind. I'm sure you guys already can see that. Now, it's not horrible, so I'm not that mad at it. They started it here. They ended it here. They gave you a little bit of life to sharpen off. I prefer they give you more, though. That You know, that's a little bit. If I want to lower back my angle and I want to get a couple good sharpenings on it, you know, even like if I said I want to make sure I don't have any burnt steel on here, so I want to remove some steel right now, you know, and then lower back my angle after doing a couple sharpenings, I'm going to be damn near to the plunge grind. So I'd like to see, a, you know, the plunge grind back a little bit farther. But other than that, 
other than that, this thing is badass. It's done really, really well. Uh, the detent, man, it just, they killed this detent. Oh, such a nice break. So the one other complaint I would have is T6s. Why don't you guys use T8s? Why do we see T6s? It doesn't even make sense. So I would like to see T8s. Um, but other than those two little things, there's really not much I can complain about. I'm very, very happy with it as far as the first impressions goes. Now, maybe after testing it, you know, I'll be able to speak more about this LMAX um, and you know, a little bit more about the knife, but as far as right now, I am super happy. And I'm really happy because I opened up another knife and I got these at the exact same time. I bought them at the exact same time and the other knife was such a disappointment. You guys are gonna see that video soon. Oh man, it's it's a horror show. Anyways, um, I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.